This is Slade McClendon with Sunbelt Fire, and today we are thrilled to share with you about the newest purchase from the Fort Walton Beach on their E1 78 foot Emax ladder. This is a dynamite setup, and I'd like to walk you through several of the neat features and the newest technology available in the industry. As you know, E1 has never had an aerial failure or tip over ever in the industry, and there's many reasons for why they designed their aerials as well as their cabs, that this has the roll cage custom cab inside here. It also has a little bit of an extension on the inside, and we'll see this in a little bit, but it has a medical cabinet right behind this actual door. This truck right here has a Cummins ISL 450 engine with the Allison 3000 transmission. This is a loaded truck right here. So let me kind of walk you through some features right now. One of the neatest things that is done on here is with this Emax pumper design, the benefit of it, and I'll show you right now, that this is an E1 pump. It has a 1500 GPM pump. And as you can tell, this is a new concept and design. And we have several of these um, apparatus out in the field now with this design. With the Emax pumper, it allows the pump housing to be extremely packaged and short. So it's gonna allow for an extremely tight wheelbase, more maneuverable out there. It also gives options here for their speed lay options and their cross legs. So right here, you're seeing the speed lays below that they can be pulled out. Firefighters can load their hose easily and just put it straight in there. Then it also has their speed lay up here and the backboard storage. So you can see again how compact it is, but you're not losing any type of performance. It's also giving you more compartmentation. So this particular setup right here, and come in and take a look at this right here. This is the aerial control package. This is new technology. It's showing you the monitor control as well as the system control and then the controls for a base operator for the ladder. This also has the Akron foam inductor um, set up here so you can use the foam capabilities. So the pump operator has everything he needs right here. As we go through here on the compartment, this particular truck has a smart power 10kW that's operating a load of lights. There's quartz lights all throughout the truck, as well as all of their lighting is LED lighting. Their light bars are Wayland light bars and LED lighting throughout the whole truck. This is just showing you their compartmentation and options here. They have many rollout trays. Now you'll see equipment that's going loose for how that they want to set some things up. You're seeing the tool board options where they can use mount any type of tool board for what they want inside. There's their SCBA bottle compartmentation, showing you the lower level lighting with the LED. This is actually a compartment for any of their tools. This is a great setup here. That this is a rollout tilt down tray right here, and it's showing you their actual chainsaw and their cutter right here. Great design, great feature for the fire service. This is just showing you adjustable shelving, any type of equipment for what they'd like to have in here. This is our access up to the ladder. Again, phenomenal access, ease of access. As you go to the rear of the truck, they obviously have the NFPA Chevron striping, but this will give you an outline of what it looks like in the back. This is their electric cord reel with 200 foot, and they actually have these actual lights are mounted on the base. These can be deployed out, it's hooked into the actual cord box right there, and they, and they can put this on the scene as well. Just showing you again where all of their pipe poles, attic ladders are, and then all of their actual ladders off the rear. They have an enormous amount of five inch hose, you know, large diameter hose, and then their two and a half inch hose is stacked in here as well. All right, let's take a look now on the officer side. Right now that we're just transporting this actual foam for them to go over into service. It obviously wouldn't be put in there into the future. And this truck is getting ready for delivery now. Your SCBA bottle storage, showing you another pull-out tray, and look at the size and the depth of these compartments. Extremely large right here. So it's able to pull out. We've mounted the lights inside. Then it also shows you their front compartment. Again, an enormous amount of storage here. Why people love this particular package is, again, the wheelbase is incredibly tight. It has a 78-foot ladder. It exceeds the NFPA standards for your structural safety on your ladder has a 500 gallon hose, I mean, excuse me, a 500 gallon polypropylene tank 
and you're getting all of this on a single axle. So this is the package that people are loving. This is what I was referring to earlier. They're showing you where your backboard storage is. Here's your speedway options. Firefighters are loving this design because it's easy to pull stuff out, load the hose, and put it straight back in. So here, also we're showing you the water tank level gauge. Far off from, from the scene that they can get a visual on there. I'm going to actually show you a few features right now on the inside of the cab. This is showing you a great compartment here. Now, as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff we're sending back to them. Um, you know, for little parts here. A great compartmentation in between the actual rear facing seats. Have these great seat holders for the SCBAs. All of their headsets are wired in here. And then this showing you the com actual compartmentation off to the side. So this is a great design again. It's just giving them more room on the inside. And then just showing you the actual features right here. So they have a, a stand for their laptop computer all the ports should they need to plug into anything and then just showing you another neat feature of how they put their lights on the inside showing you their actual firecom headsets they have a rear view camera actually showing it for the driver for backup now i'd like to actually show you as well the front bumper this is a great setup and design this is is a front bumper compartment has for where their host storage would be then they actually have to where it'll be tying into this actual valve. This is a neat design too. They have mounted a blitz fire that is mounted onto the front bumper so it's easy deployment for when they arrive at the scene. It's just showing you their brow lights up on the ladder as well. And when I was referring to you earlier about the actual tip, it's actually showing you the new controls available onto the ladder as well. We would like to thank again the Fort Walton Beach Fire Department for allowing us to build you a state-of-the-art 78-foot Emax ladder. Thank you all so much again. If you'd like more information about this particular ladder or any other apparatus, please feel free to, to visit us on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Also, check our website out at sunbeltfire.com, and we would love to be able to help and serve you if you have any questions on your apparatus needs. Thank you again for what you do, and stay safe.